YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with my college football pickums for week 12 of the 2019 season. Doing this video every single week. Just recently, I uploaded my updated college football rankings. A lot different from the AP and the college football playoff poll. Still waiting to see the CFP poll this week. Did not agree with it whatsoever last week, but some big games this week. Excited to pick them here. Uh, and before we get started, 40K, that's our subscriber goal by the end of the year. So please help us out by subscribing to the channel. Full NFL and college ball content here all year long. Check us out on Twitter at Goathouse NFL. We really appreciate it if you can subscribe and click that like button. Uh, but to our group, how's it going? Rock Bama still on top. I had a full 55 points last week, so I'm catching up a little bit. Uh, but Rock Bama got a pretty comfy lead still uh, there at the top of our group. Pretty impressive. Uh, to this week's picks, starting from the top, we'll reorder the confidence at the end, and then we'll take a look at some lines to the games and uh, games that were not on here at the very end of the video. Indiana, Penn State. Uh, I had Indiana newly ranked in my rankings as well, uh, and they are ranked, you see, a 24 in the AP poll, Penn State number 9. Uh, but I'm going to go Penn State. Indiana hasn't played a Penn State yet, not even close, uh, and this game is in Penn State. So I, I think it will be a pretty pretty impressive win for Penn State, uh, then a good bounce-back game. Michigan State and Michigan. Michigan State's just all sorts of disappointing. It's a big rival game, so anything can happen, but uh, I'm definitely going Michigan there. Florida and Missouri. Florida looked very impressive. They did play Vandy. Uh, and Missouri, you never know what you're going to get. I mean, it's one of the more inconsistent teams, definitely in the SEC. I'm going to go with the Gators. No brainer there. Navy and Notre Dame actually will be a really good game, I think. This is Navy's one of the, one of their best teams in a long in a long time. Um, they have some pretty good teams recently, actually. Uh, but Notre Dame, you know, you know, especially with Navy, but other teams like this too, they always keep them close. You know, they always get kind of close and. It's not too comfortable of a win. I'm still going to take Notre Dame in this game, but they have to start off very well in Notre Dame. You know, sometimes on offense they start off slow, and if they start off slow and Navy gets on the board, Navy will drain that clock and they'll win the game then. So that that's a scary game. That's definitely a, that's definitely one of those setup games for Notre Dame. Uh, Texas and Iowa State, that'll be a good game. I think you can compare kind of both those teams in the Big 12, the way they play. Uh, I think, you know, Texas just has a little bit more talent. Uh, they had a good bounce back game, a good momentum changer against Kansas State. I'm gonna, it's a similar matchup, a uh, little less offense they got to deal with in Iowa State. It is in Iowa State, but I'm going to take Texas. That's a tough game, though. Wake Forest and Clemson. Wake Forest, I mean, they can score. Uh, but I, I just don't see them scoring enough against the Clemson Tigers. Tough loss for Wake Forest against Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's starting to get pretty good, though. It's kind of a sneaky team in the ACC. Not that they're going to win it or anything, but, um, yeah, it's not the worst loss. You know, VTech's starting to heat up. Clemson will also start to heat up. You know, it's it's almost playoff time. This is where they really get going. It's a totally different team from early midseason to the playoff time to the end of the season. It's a totally different team. Uh, they'll get They'll get ready for sure. Georgia and Auburn. Uh, I mean, this is this is going to be my one pointer, probably one confidence. Um, Georgia's getting better. Auburn, I'd say, is staying about the same. They always had an elite defense. You know, Bo Nix, maybe a little better than the start of the year, but not really far off. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Georgia's because I think they're getting better. Um, but this is a very similar matchup to the South Carolina game uh, that Georgia had. It's in Auburn. It's the same style team, but obviously Auburn's much better. But I think Georgia has gotten better. They know this is a must win. That is a toss up, though. That's, that's a toss up. I just don't see Auburn getting enough points. You know, I think DeAndre Swift will get going enough uh, going against Big Derek Brown. Though, I mean that that's tough. It's I mean, if Auburn can just shut down the run early, and it's kind of what I said about the Notre Dame Navy game, if Auburn can kind of shut down that run, they have to plan for the run, eliminate that, and somehow can get on the board early. Uh, they can play the clock game, and then and then uh, force Georgia to have to pass. And when you know they're passing, that's when you kind of can slow them down. From is starting to heat up, though. It's kind of why I'm going Georgia. You know, I have a little more trust than I did a few weeks ago in Fromm in the offense. Always had trust, trust in DeAndre Swift. When everyone's stacking the box, you, you can't ask too much, too, too much. That's going to be a good game. You can argue both sides there. That's gonna, it's going to be a fun one to watch. Uh, Minnesota and Iowa. The, honestly, I was last week I picked Minnesota. In weeks before, based on how the teams were looking, my plan was to pick Minnesota over Penn State the whole way, and then my plan was kind of to pick Iowa the week after. You know, It was kind of just a feeling, a gut feeling for me. That Minnesota would go in, you know, home against Penn State, win, and then kind of blow it at Iowa, um, you know, against that defense. But 
I like this Minnesota team a lot more now. Um, Iowa just doesn't have enough offense, I don't think, for this game. I just think that, uh, you know, Minnesota will score. Iowa will hold them, will slow them down, but they won't completely stop them. If they can completely stop them, I mean, they're going to win the game. Um, I mean, similar to the other games, similar to pretty much any game, it's how you start here. Uh, I just like Minnesota. This team's a real, it's a real good team. Oklahoma and Baylor. Um, you know, if you watch the rankings videos, you know I feel very strongly that Baylor should be ranked ahead of Oklahoma. There's no reason why Oklahoma should be ranked ahead of Baylor. They have a very similar schedule. It's a Big 12 schedule. Baylor has wins over Kansas State, wins over Oklahoma State. Uh, Oklahoma actually lost to Kansas State and really don't have any wins over anybody I mean, besides Texas. Um, and while Oklahoma has lost, Baylor's undefeated. Baylor, no question. It's ridiculous. They should be ranked ahead of Oklahoma in today's poll. Any poll that comes out today, I feel very strongly about that. But I'm picking Oklahoma, no question. You know, people, when they do rankings, I think they're predicting a little too much. They're looking ahead of this game. That's not what rankings are. They're rankings. They're not predictions. Uh, but this game, uh, it's the, it's that primetime game. It's in Baylor. It's it's, it's going to be fun, but I just think it's a bad matchup for Baylor. I think Oklahoma's the better team. Baylor has been cutting it close with too many teams that they shouldn't be. Um, you know, they're a pretty good defensive team. Uh, for for a Big 12 team, and they got some offense. They can get clutch here and there, um, but it's a bad matchup. Oklahoma's going to score on you no matter what. Can Baylor keep up? I just don't think so. It being in Baylor will make things interesting, but I think Oklahoma gets a, I don't want to say easy, but you know they'll it'll be a comfortable it'll be a comfortable game for them. I think you know I don't early on it'll be close obviously, but I, you know it's not going to be a blowout or anything. But I, I'm very confident in Oklahoma here in USC and California. I'm going to pick the uh, the Trojans for the same reasons I picked them over Arizona State last week. Similar matchup, you know. Arizona State was kind of more, they are more balanced, I guess, but more of that, that defensive Pac-12 team. And USC pretty much can score on anybody. They're not going to have that high, super high-powered offense. They're pretty much going to score on anybody. and But they're, they're also kind of middle of the pack for the defense, too. You're not going to get free points on them. I think that's a good matchup for teams like Arizona State, California, because those teams kind of struggle to score on pretty much anybody. And USC, unless it's a very weak defense, it's not USC. Um, and and you, even though California's got a good defense, USC will put up put up points. It's the, you know, will California keep up with them? They just, they just won't. So I'm going to take USC in that game. And, oh, i got to predict the score for Oklahoma Baylor. That's, that's tough. Yeah. Um, I do worry about Oklahoma's offense a little bit. I do worry about worry about their offense. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 30. Or Oklahoma's defense. I don't know what I just said. I worry about Oklahoma's defense a little bit against Baylor, but um, don't worry about their offense. Offense is top tier in the nation. 37 for Oklahoma, and Baylor. I'm gonna go with 23. Top of my head, right there. Reorder the confidence levels here. Like I said, we're moving uh, Georgia-Auburn to one. I actually might go. I think we're going to go Texas-Iowa State to two, actually. Um, take a look at the other games. Minnesota and Iowa, we will drop down to three. And we're going to move Notre Dame and Navy down to four. You know, that, that that's one that definitely could be an upset. Probably, even though I'm very confident Oklahoma, will probably move down to five. That, it kind of shows that, uh, well, these other games I'm just more confident in here. Michigan, Penn State. Florida over Missouri should be no problem. Clemson, Wake Forest. You know, we're going to move USC down to right about here. I think we'll keep that. Um, Clemson over Wake Forest for 10, I guess is – no, I'm very confident in that game. It's a bad match for Wake. Clemson's just much, much better team. So we're going to keep that right there. We're going to submit. We're going to take a look at some other games here and some lines. There's a lot of lines I felt pretty good about last week, uh, and we'll take a look – Again, this week for week 12, it is Navy and Notre Dame is the first game here. Notre Dame minus nine and a half. I wouldn't touch that one. I already, already right off the bat, wouldn't touch it. Alabama minus 21 against Mississippi State. I think Alabama covers there. They'll win by more than 21. Uh, Indiana, Penn State, Penn State minus 14. I think Penn State, I think they can cover that. I think a 17-point win, maybe a three-touchdown win. I think they can do it. It's the only thing I worry about. Where's the momentum? Where's the energy at after that loss? Because that one kind of could suck the life out of you. I'm going to say most likely it didn't. Uh, that's the only thing I worry about, but they should win by three scores. Florida, Missouri. Oh, I'm jumping on Florida minus seven and a half. Um, I know seven and a half is tough being point, point five over seven, over a, a, a exactly a touchdown, but uh, Florida should be able to handle Missouri no problem. They can win by three scores or more, I think, in that game. Um, 
Wisconsin, Nebraska, Wisconsin minus 14 and a half. Probably one I wouldn't touch is because Wisconsin's lack of uh, offense. I, they should get over that. 14 and a half is a good number because, you know, if it was 14, that'd definitely be uh, more appealing. Michigan minus 13 and a half against Michigan State. You know, that big of a rivalry game, I wouldn't touch it probably. Kansas, Oklahoma State. Man, I, another one I probably wouldn't touch, but if I, you know, if I had to actually, I, I, I'd say Kansas, that plus 17 and a half. Um, it's a pretty good number for them too. You know they shouldn't lose by 17 points. Uh, Kansas got some offense. Yeah, I kind of you know more I'm thinking about it. Kansas can score. Getting 17 and a half points. That's not a bad one. No line on some of these right now. Clemson 33 and a half. Too much points for me, but it wouldn't take Wake Forest either. Georgia's minus three. Wouldn't touch that one either. Kansas State minus 15 against West Virginia. You see West Virginia playing Baylor close, so I, I wouldn't. Kansas State should be able to beat them by around there, but you know. Wouldn't touch it. Memphis minus 10 against Houston. Memphis should cover that. Should cover that. Not overly confident. Iowa's actually minus 2.5. And Another one I wouldn't touch because Iowa's defense could be that game changer You know, for Minnesota. If, you know, Maybe they can't handle the defense. Um, yeah, definitely wouldn't touch that. LSU minus 21 against Ole Miss. I'd say LSU can win by 24 to 34 points, somewhere around there. Cincinnati, South Florida. Yeah, Cincinnati, Cincinnati's had some random close games, so not one I would be touching. Oklahoma, Baylor, hey, I think they win by over 10. You saw my score prediction. UCLA and Utah. UCLA is kind of one of those sneaky teams. Yeah, Utah's going to win the game, but 21 half is kind of a lot. Probably one it wouldn't touch again. Boise State, 28 against New Mexico. Again, you know, that's too many points, but I wouldn't be confident taking New Mexico. Arizona, Oregon, no line right now. Uh, so, yeah, that, those are the games. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you feel different, strongly disagree with any, let me know in the comments. If you got the same exact pick, picks as me, let me know. Uh, hopefully I can get 100% like last week. Doubt it, though. I doubt it. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Go ahead and check out that recent rankings video. We got full NFL coverage as well, in case you missed that. All kinds of predictions and power rankings coming this week, like every week. We got you covered here at the Goat House, so please subscribe, trying to get to that 40K goal. That's going to do it for this one, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.